about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know So as you guys know, I've recently cut my hair into a lop, so a long bob. And so many of you guys have been asking me how I actually style it. So I've been wearing this style quite often, nearly every single day. It's literally my go-to. So I've actually put together this little tutorial showing you guys how I do this fast and easy hairstyle nearly every single morning. So if you want to know how I do this, keep watching. Okay guys, so first things first, yes I know I'm probably doing it backwards, but personally I feel as though it just stays a lot longer when I hairspray it first. So I'm going to just grab some hairspray and spray my hair. So before I started filming, I actually did just wash my hair and then I blow dried my hair upside down. When I do that, I feel as though it just thickens it up and leaves a lot more volume. Now, I'm just gonna grab my Clumpy meat bomb and then clip up my hair. All right, beauty new. Before I straighten my hair, I do like to put some like argan oil in it. Okay, it's not coming out. There we go. So I actually use this every single night. So I'll just pop a little bit on the ends of my hair and then I'll brush it and then like braid it and like pop it and then go to bed. It has seriously changed my hair. So I will be using a straightener for this. You can use a curling iron, but I personally prefer the straightener. It kind of leaves it having that grungy, kinky look rather than just like curly ringlets. Like I feel as though when it's, when you have short hair and it's just completely curly and like tight curls, it just, yeah. I'm going to start off with grabbing a small little clunk. So the smaller the sections, the better. And with the two fronts, you definitely do want to curl them backwards. So I'll just curl like this. And this is probably the most important bit. Make sure you leave just around an inch of hair free at the bottom. This is what gives it that cool edgy look. So it kind of like, you'll know what I mean. Oh. Damn, girl. Beautiful. That's actually what we want. See, this is not a perfect curl. You do not want a perfect curl. You want this. It doesn't look the best, but once you have put them all together, it does. So because I've curled this one backwards, my next one I'm going to curl like forwards. So you want to make sure they're all opposite so they don't actually twirl in together. You want them to be completely apart. So this is what helps give it more volume and look a lot thicker. Beautiful. So remember, you don't want curls, you want these kinks. So if it's turned into ringlets, you're doing it wrong. So remember, the front of your hair, you curl back. Okay, so to give it even more volume and texture, I'm just gonna put some dry shampoo. Little splurts. So just in the roots all around my hair and then I'm going to move on to the next layer. Now you don't actually have to hold the straightener or the curler in for long because obviously this is a short hair look. Because you don't have much hair there, it doesn't take that long to heat up and have the curl, especially because you aren't having tight ringlets. Because they're only loose kinks, you won't have to have it in for long at all. This is an absolute arm workout. Who needs the gym when you can just curl your hair? Second layer done, moving on to the last layer. So this is where you kind of decide what you want to do with your hair, whether you want to middle part it or side part it. So personally, I have been really liking my side parts lately. Obviously, it doesn't need to be like a perfect line because this is kind of like a grungy kind of look, like it's nothing too perfect. It's so funny because like when I was younger, all I wanted was like neat, straight, long hair. And now that I'm older, I want the complete opposite. Like I find with short hair, there's so much you can do to it. If you are thinking about cutting your hair, I 100% recommend doing it. I love it. It was pretty scary to do it, but I love it. It's just so easy, especially when you're working out. Like you just pop it up. Easy, easy done. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Already you can start to see that it's getting a lot more volume. 
and that's literally just from the curls like I've hardly put any of this in so it's just the way that you curl it I guess just gives it so much volume because like to start off with I did not have thick hair I have actually really really thin hair but with this technique <laughs> I trick you I trick you all and the reason why I love this hairstyle so much is it looks really complicated to do but it's actually so easy and like as you guys can tell I've used like two products and a straightener and everyone has a straightener that's why I love it because like not everyone has curlers but everyone has straighteners I hope if you don't then you can't do this hairstyle sorry something else that is important with this if you do have layers like myself try to do the layers separately so don't do the short bits with the long bits I find it just it doesn't look good so I've done the long bits and now I have these short little ones that come down my face so I'm gonna do them separately oh, look at that hi <laughs> hello yeah I don't like killing them so I'm just gonna do this one separately just so we can have that like inch straight at the end Otherwise, it just looks so funny. I look like Marlon Monroe or something. Okay, there we go. Holy shoulders! Yeah. Now, the top part. So, like I said, I have layered hair, so I have left the shortest, which is the top part, last. So I can do that on its own otherwise it just it's a mess so yeah if you have layers I highly recommend doing the short bits last and on their own yes I regret layering my hair so when like long side front bits were in yeah I was that person that had like that massive side fringe and I think it just still hasn't grown out since like year 8 this was me. I, I kid you not. If I find old photos, I will pop it right here. Yeah. Yeah, I was that girl. But seriously, look how much volume that is. And I'm not even done. Because yeah. let me be real. Nobody likes thin hair. This is kind of like a little hack. <laughs> and we done. Nah, oh, yuck. Damn. Hi. My straight is beeping at me. I don't like it. I don't like it a lot. Hey, shh. How have you been on for that long? You're crazy. I don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh! I could poke an eye out. Oh. Okay, I have no idea if all the curls are done. I'm gonna need some help. T! Can you come see if all my curls are curled at the back? Yeah. <laughs> so next step is ask a friend or family member if the back of your hair is done. Oh, hi. This is my sister. No. No? Uh, Where? There's a couple spots. Can I do them? No. No, you don't know how to curl. Oh, I You have to watch this video in order to know. No, it's, it's different. This curl is different. Well, good job, Chris. This is really straight. Oh, very straight. Thanks for telling me, guys. They, they haven't seen it yet. Yeah, they have. They can see it right now. <laughs> punk rocker. What's that song? Oh, Rock girl with flowers in my hair. It's 70, 70, 69. Revolution was in the air. I was born too late. Okay. Pro tip, I'm not a pro at this, so don't listen to me. But my other pro tip would be to make sure that you've got all the curls. Otherwise it just looks really weird with random straight bits in your hair. And you don't want to be that person, because I am that person. You don't want to be me. Do not learn from me, kids. I am not a hairdresser. I am not a hair guru. I just, you know, just try things. And you guys like them. So I'm like, here, this is how I do it. And hope I can help at least one person out there, just one, and I'll be happy. So, the curling has done. So with these front bits, you can either choose to like curl them back along your hair so they kind of just like stay perfect and then hairspray them so they're kind of like this or 
you can just be lazy like me and tuck it behind your ear. I personally like the tuck look, but that's just me. You know, some people, they don't want to show their ears. Some people just don't want to tuck their hair behind their ears. It doesn't matter. Whatever floats your boat. You just got to style it, whatever suits you, you know? Okay, now we are almost done. A very important bit is to tip your head over and literally just put your fingers in your hair and scrub. This is going to give it even more volume and more texture. And that is what we're looking for within this hairstyle. Seriously, if I seen myself doing this two years ago, I would be like, what the hell, Chris? You messy child. But now I'm like, yes, Chris, mess that up. You want that volume. You want that lob to look good. Okay. <sighs> look at this. Absolute thickness. So a lot of people with this hairstyle, they actually tease their hair, but that completely stresses me out. And I don't want to spend two hours at night time trying to get knots out. You know, like that's just, it's not my cup of tea. And voila. We have my styled lob. So this hairstyle has been literally my go-to with short hair. It's just so easy because I don't know about you, but I just feel so straight. Short hair gets so boring. And this just gives it so much character. Like I, I love it. And it just styles up any outfit. So I either wear it both tucked behind my ear Usually it's just depending on what I'm wearing it with or how I feel that day, you know? Oh. Oh. Anyway guys, that is this hairstyle completely done. I hope you did like this little video of this short and easy hairstyle. If you guys want more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you do subscribe because it really, really, really supports my channel. Anyway guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!